Hi, I'm Amy Kroom, and welcome to Independent Thinking Executive Insights. We're excited today to be joined by Tony Foster from Synchrony Financial. Hello, how are you? I'm I, glad to be here. I am great. Thanks so much for coming. Absolutely. We appreciate you taking the time. Well, we love the partnership. Obviously, we're honored to represent the nationwide brand and the nationwide member, so I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Oh, great. Well, so let's talk a little bit. You know, it, it's been a few months since we've seen each other, so what is new? What's going on with Synchrony Financial? Well, there's a lot of things exciting that's going on. First of all, um, Synchrony and Nationwide have extended their 25-year relationship just recently, mm -hmm. which brings a lot of value to both nationwide and the members. Particularly, the members will have an opportunity to take advantage of our products and capabilities and marketing expertise. We couldn't be more excited uh, to have that, uh, ex that relationship extended. When we think about the value that it's going to bring to them, tools such as um, pre-qual, integrated waterfall, direct-to-device, all these things that, you know, hey, take the purchase journey from a consumer perspective and make it better. So we're excited about that. From a um, consumer, and I'm sure we're going to get into the environment, <laughs> but from a consumer perspective, the second half of 2022 turned out to be pretty good for us. Um, we saw some growth from a, a volume perspective in all the sectors, and that's continued in the first half uh, of, or the first quarter of this year. So we're excited about 23. We know that it's going to be a little bit of caution mm -hmm. as it relates to how consumers feel. Um, and that's why I think financing and particularly our long-term financing is important for our members to be able to drive and, and spur demand from a consumer who is probably thinking about rotating out of different categories. Yeah, and, and you just teed me up perfectly. Sure. So there is a lot of uncertainty. No one really knows what's going to be going on, you know, interest with interest rates, potentially a global recession, you know, we, we keep hearing it's coming and it's not quite there yet. Yeah. So what exactly, more specifically, is Synchrony doing to help members really prepare for that and prepare their, their customers? Absolutely. So um, in conjunction with the nationwide team, we're um, developing customized solutions and customized uh, offerings mm -hmm. that they can use to help drive demand from a consumer perspective. I think the consumer, you know, if you think about all of the talk that we've had about uh, a recession and inflation and all these things, I think they've grown tired of it yeah. and they're continuing to spend. Now, savings have come down. Um, financing becomes more and more important these days. And so we're rolling out different solutions for um, the members to be able to take advantage and try to spur some of that, that demand and that growth that normally wouldn't happen as consumers start to pull back. Okay. Well, and specifically as we look at the independent channel, so, mm -hmm. you know, retail as a whole, but as we look at independent specifically, how is the independent channel part of your go-to-market strategy? It is a huge part of our strategy. It's, yeah. it's our number one growth engine in my particular business. And so working with the independent retailers, and, and because I have the uh, opportunity to have large retailers and small retailers, I can see where the growth is coming, and the yeah. growth is coming in the independent channel. We do a study, uh, a biannual study of major purchase um, activity across a lot of different categories. And what we've seen in our last one is that consumers are shopping local mm -hmm. with the independent retailer for a lot of different reasons. They value speed, ease, choice, uh, and consistency. And uh, that's what's driving the, uh, them, them to the independent retailer. And our product and solutions, um, and I talked about them a little bit earlier, pre-qualification, direct to device, marketing expertise, the ability to um, advertise products on our home locator for our, our Synchrony Home Card yeah. helps them drive new customers into their site. And we've seen members really benefit from that to drive additional growth that they would not would not otherwise have. And that ties in, I think, very well, too. So we're at prime time right now, mm -hmm. and our theme is customer obsessed. So I think that ties in really well as well to you know creating a customer obsessed mindset within the independent retail channel. What else is Synchrony doing to kind of help members be more customer obsessed and put their customers at the forefront of everything that they do from a financial services standpoint? Well, it's a lot with the team um, that we have that's on the ground that work with independent retailers on a day-to-day -day basis and the team behind them from a marketing perspective that are developing solutions that make it easier for them to surprise and delight their customers. Mm -hmm. The pre-qualification we've talked about, we're talking about um, other marketing activities that they can use in their social channels, mm -hmm. that they can use on their website to try to create that top of funnel, right. uh, if you will, growth. And then 
from a frictionless perspective and removing friction to be able to surprise and delight consumers. We love that. Absolutely. We love that. Absolutely. So as we look more at the home centric, you know, the last three years have been very, very home focused. And home is a great word for Synchrony Financial because you all have the home program. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about that and really kind of how that supports our members as well. Well, the home program, which is a huge program, we have over 5 million uh, cardholders that are in that program, a bunch of locations. Members can advertise, as I talked about, mm -hmm. on our, our marketplace, where we get tens of millions of customers that visit on a monthly basis um, that they have access to. They can put specialized offers out there to attract people to their uh, particular brand and sell products. So we support them through that network, which is fine. But we also, uh, as I talked about, we do... A, we stay very, very close to the consumer. Yeah. Um, the biannual studies that we do on major purchase purchases is one thing, but we also do monthly consumer sentiment studies. So we can start to see how sentiment is changing, both how they feel about their, their uh, finances, the environment, inflation, and then where they expect to spend over the next 60 days and sometimes six, six months. And so as we look at those categories, and you talked about a lot of spending in the home category yeah. over the past couple of years, we do see a little bit of a rotation you know, into travel, dining, entertainment, things of that nature. But furniture, mattresses, appliances, electronics are still up there and pretty steady. Mm -hmm. And even as you start to get into some of the income categories, it's still very, very strong. Yeah, wonderful. Well, I know that you know the other thing too is e-commerce and mobile usage. We, we saw it really pick up during the pandemic, and I don't think that it's anything that's going to go away. Everyone is so accustomed to using their cell phone these days. So what options are available for retailers from a mobile and e-commerce standpoint through Synchrony? Yeah, we talked a little bit about some of the assets that we have that they can use, that they can um, you know put QR codes and things that will link them directly to an application that's very easy and simple. Mm -hmm. you know, enter to And secure. Se Extremely secure, <laughs> secure always. Enter yeah. the last four digits of your, your social and it'll pre-populate. So taking friction uh, out of the process so they can use it from an e-commerce perspective. We also have um, access to our marketing team who have digital assets and expertise and a center of excellence that we can bring in to help them understand what's going on with their website, how they're attracting customers, also, email campaigns, social media, ch media channels, all those assets are available for independent retailers to use. Wonderful. So as we look at the rest of 2023 and beyond, what yep. can the independent retailer do to better connect with Synchrony in the coming year? Well, we have a team, as you know, that yeah. <laughs> are d directly um, dedicated to them, and they can certainly reach out to them. Um, they will then plug them into whatever programs that we have. We do have, because of the structure, the new structure that we have, there's a volume rebate that's available that can help them lower their costs with rising cost mm -hmm. uh, and the ability to um, get specialized offers to consumer. We've put together a customized menu that allow them to mm -hmm. sort of, you know, flex and use their financing in a different way. Mm -hmm. You know, with rising costs, you've got you've to balance cost with driving demand. Right. And uh, the team has put together some customized solutions working with the nationwide team uh, to allow them to do that. As the members know, we have a smoking special that we're, uh, we're using during the show this, this yeah. year. Um, so they can come and take advantage of that and that will help them grow. So lots of exciting things. Tons of stuff. Wonderful. Absolutely. Tony, thank you so much for joining us here on Executive Insights. Absolutely. And thank you for joining us here on Executive Insights. We'll see you soon.